What's up, Raiders? I'm Skylar Kane. <laughs> and I'm Caitlin Marshall. And, and this, this is RJTV. Mock Trial won state for the first time in 20 years. They went undefeated this entire year and finished strong by taking the state title. With this win, they will advance to nationals in Athens, Georgia later this May. Skylar, remember Diversity Day? Oh, like, yeah, kinda. I mean, I probably will need a refresher. <laughs> I know, but what an unforgettable day. Here's some highlights. Oh, mama. On Tuesday, March 12th, the Regis Jesuit hosted the 14th Annual Diversity Day Conference with over 125 presenters. Diversity Day has not only offered me opportunities to see other people's perspectives, but it's also helped me have the tools to take those perspectives into account into my own life going forward. Students had the opportunity to experience workshops from all walks of life and listen to different perspectives, dialogue on issues of social justice, eat, perform, and dance. He explained like a lot of the history behind soul foods and all that and like it's just really cool to see how a lot of like regular foods that you eat every day have like a lot of deep deeper history behind it. A highlight of the day was keynote speaker Carlotta Lanier, a member of Little Rock 9 who inspired students to support equal rights and inclusion for all. Diversity Day showed me that we're all equal and you should never judge a book by its cover because everyone's story is different and we're all human. Thank you to everyone who participated and contributed to the success of the 2019 Diversity Day Conference, and we'll see you next year! Oh, Baba! Oh, Baba! Skylar, Skylar, we're filming! No, no, hold, Caitlin, hold up, hold up. <laughs> this, it's important. No way! It's senioritis season! <laughs> Yep, yep, and uh, this year it's um, it's looking pretty bad. Oh, don't take it from me. <laughs> well, fine. Take a look for yourself. How has senioritis affected you? Um, well, I've kind of had it since probably the middle of first semester senior year. Um, it's kind of driven me more away from school and more hanging out with my friends and doing stuff I want to do before I have to leave for college next year. What do your parents think about senioritis? Um, I have yet to break the news to my parents. Do you have any advice for dealing with senioritis? Accept it. Just take it. Just uh, write it out. How does senioritis affect you? Do you accept it or do you fight against it? I've accepted it. You know, my doctor told me it's best to just accept it and take it for what it is. How do you deal with senioritis? We know you guys are in class watching March Madness on your iPad. Probably right now, so stop. But, your brackets are all wrong! No! <laughs> but hey, I, you don't even need to worry because we had professional Nicholas Rizzi step in to give us an insight on what the best bracket will look like that could give you a chance to win McMillions. I'm going with the upset. Duke is going to take this one. It's risky, but you must take risks. In March Madness, Yale versus Bradley, Sweet 16. Smart people, they're really good at basketball. Bradley, small school, so you know they're good at basketball. I actually have Yale taking it, advancing to the Elite Eight. Virginia, they didn't even make it out of the first round last year. They're hopeless. They're a lost cause. Gardner Webb every time. Um, I'm going to have Yale and Old Dominion advancing to the championship. I'm actually picking Old Dominion for this one. Yale. Nah. 
Old Dominion 183 to 19. Once you get, once I win my mid billion dollars, I, I'm not even gonna go to the school anymore. Catch more like this on Rabble TV. Check your announcements. Skylar, come on. You gotta have Yale winning the whole thing in your bracket. Even though they already lost. You know what? I'm just not even gonna do one this year, so. Well, I guess that's all the time we have for this week. I'm Caitlin Marshall. And um, <laughs> I'm Skylar Kane. Um, have a really good spring break. Ah, finally. Spring break. Can't wait to hit the ocean. See you next time.